Hey, my unique followers. Welcome back. I'm Kelly. I am the creative mastermind behind Unique Designs by C&K. And I am here with my daughter, Jay. Hi. <clears throat> and today, we're going to have some fun with making some jars. And we're going to use split cups to do it to create a marbling effect. Now, at the end of it, I will put it on the community page for you guys to vote which color combo is your favorite, mine or Jay's. <clears throat> so, we have our molds out here. I've already mixed up our pigments. Now, Jay, do you want me to go first, or you want to go first? You go first. You want me to go first? All right, I'm going to show you guys my colors. Now, just a note, this is a two-part video. I've already, because I always keep my rubbing alcohol on hand. I use 90% 90, uh, 90 rubbing alcohol because of the water content. See, it evaporates a lot easier. And I have my split cup. And today, for some reason, me and Jay were thinking the same way, but mine, I put a little, I did a little different. I put these iridescent color shift flakes and glow in a dark purple. And one of my, it's gonna go in one of my cups. And then this, and this is by Sparkly Meow Mimo. I use this color, and then they always sell out of this color, but it's so freaking pretty. It's called Back in Black. I really love how holographic it is. So, now I don't know how Jay's going to set up her colors in her split cup. We'll get to her in a minute. She wants to see me do it first and then do, do hers. So, I am going to take the mix with the my color shift flakes and my glow in a dark purple and I'm going to put them in the center. Now you can use whatever color you guys want but I prefer to use center. Now these little jars they take right around 200 milliliters of resin. So right now I have about 70 milliliters of resin in each of these little cups. And I'm just going to scrape them in. Now, my center color, he's an experiment. I want to see what effect we get with him. And then I'm going to do purple on one side. Now, I let my resin sit for 10 minutes after I mix it. After I add my color, mix it up, I let it sit for 10 minutes. I kind of eyeball it so they can kind of be on the same level. So I know I got more purple and black than I need, but that is okay. Because I may need, I may want more to add more black, or I may want to add more purple. But always keep a. Um, if you think you've overfilled or on one color, always, always keep a spare mold on hand. Because you could create something extra special. Like I could show you. This was from my poor on the vases. Now, I'm getting ready to post give me those vases up so you can see both the glow in the dark effects. It's a strawberry. I know, it looks like a strawberry. We're getting strawberry vibes. We should sell those. <laughs> so, he's a little cutie, but you get really cool effects with extra resin. So always keep in mind, just keep an extra mold by your by your side just in case you have extra 
colors. So we're going to do hearts again. Jay, you do have a heart one over here for you. <laughs> so if you have extra colors, mm -hmm. you can put it in there. So I spray my molds personally of rubbing alcohol because I learned a long time ago this will help reduce any micro bubbles you get. Like I got some micro bubbles starting here. So I could spray a little bit over my colors. It helps with the micro bubbles and the bubbles you get with mixing. They float to the top. So we're gonna start just like this. Now, no, it likes to run on me. It looks like the ace flag. Ah. It does. It's just missing the gray. Now, he's almost full, but I realize I'm running out of a certain color. So I'm gonna do this and I'll show you guys because when you do this, sometimes you'll get micro bubbles where you don't want them. So I've learned to just pick the top up. I don't fill them all the way, but I squeeze the little lip here. I squeeze all the way around. It helps get any little air bubbles that may have been caught in the bottom. I can't really show you without spilling resin everywhere, but I just take it around. Ah, thank you, Jay. Throw the show the side. They'll see it better. I squeeze right here on the mold. Cause that's where I have a habit of air bubbles hanging up. So I squeeze the edges, the perforated uh, scalloped edges to help make sure the air bubbles rise to the surface. Now, I noticed that that I didn't make an I didn't make enough of my metal color and that happens that's okay as long as I get the effect I'm looking for I'm hoping to get it that's why I'll use my split cup because I still like that color separation Put a little bit on each side. And with split cups, normally, especially with a tri-split cup, you'll get more of your middle color than you will on your edge colors. So, that's okay. Now he's all the way up. We're gonna finish filling our lid. And because I like the separation, that's why I always, I, I'm sticking with just adding more resin to the split cup. And I really encourage you guys, don't stick to the colors me and Jay are using. You guys come up with your own color combination. I really wanna see what you guys C and color. There's nothing wrong with experimenting with color. Because in the art world, everybody sees art differently. All right, now he's to the edge. I'm gonna go ahead and Put my excess black and purple are my favorite color. I know. That's why I normally when I go and buy you stuff, I stick to purple and black for you. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Jay, did you want to start uh, start setting yours up? There's a reason I have yours facing the way it is. So give me a minute and I'll explain because you're on the opposite side of the table. This is why I have extra molds on standby is resin is expensive. So I rather it's use every last drop I could. How did I know you were going to go center of the black? Let's see, can I get some more? Oh, I might be able to add a little bit of this one. Let's see, Jay's filling up her, her split cup. And we'll spray hers. All right, I was able to get a little more of that color out. Don't worry about it, Jay. I'm right here. I got it. So, now, Jay, what do you think we're going to do this summer? Does Mommy have any crazy plans planned that you know of? We want to go swimming. You go swimming? We will go swimming this year. There's nothing else that I know of. Jay is knows me as the mama that surprises. So. And, um. There you go. I had enough in there. See? This is why we always have an extra mold. Because you never know if you have too, uh, enough, if you've poured too much. Alright. Now. We're going to rotate them around. Or actually, I can do it side by side. Because it will be more comfortable for you. There you go. Go ahead and fill your cups up. I'm going to move him over here. So we don't knock him over. So we don't have an accident. Alright. Jay decided to do blue and black. And Jay... Remember, I have, I have how many how many colors of shades of blue and purple do I have? A lot, and more. I know there's more hidden there. Well, that's all right. I'm gonna spray mine because I see the bubbles floating. All right, now spray your mold. Spray here and here. Now go ahead and can start. We spray. You can spray him, but he's been sitting for a minute, so he should be okay. But it's always good. Make be some extra air bubbles that we don't see. All right. Now there you go. You can do it in circles, Jay, or you can just do it like that. All right. Stop right there. I got your tip. Mm -hmm. Put some in here so we can work the edge. Is that good? Too much? Nope, you're good. Because he's going to level out. Go ahead and finish filling him. Or wait for him to finish leveling, and then we'll get in there, and we'll um, manipulate the scallop edge so we can push all those air bubbles out so we can push them up. That's it. There's a reason why I tell her not to do it, fill it all the way. You're less likely to spill the resin outside the mold. So I'm going to go ahead and help her out here. While she resets herself so she can finish filling her mold. Mm. And I'm going to do her scalp edge. I just come around, you just manipulate the edge to push all any air bubbles that may be trapped. I learned this through trial and error. All right. It's okay. All right. 
Now Jay's gonna finish off her mold. This is a two-part video, just a reminder. I will, we will see you in 24 hours. As soon as Jay finishes filling her molds, because I know you guys want to see that. So I'm going to make sure you guys see it. Don't forget your cup. Stop. There you go. Oh, hold on. Give it a minute. Put some more in there. I fill my molds to the edge, especially the top, because they have a habit of getting a burr on them. And I hate, I hate deburring and filing. So, but... We have just finished them, so here's mine, and there's Jay's, so if you are still watching right now, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and throw a like in the video, and Jay, what do we want our unique followers to throw, what emoji in the comments today? What are heart. we doing? You want hearts today? Mm -hmm. Alright, throw some hearts in the uh, comments, multicolored. We're feeling it today, so I'm going to stop right here, and I will see you in 24 hours for part two. Don't forget and we'll, to wear your safeties. Oh, yep. I forgot to tell you guys that. So I'll see you guys in part two in 24 hours. Until then, be you, be unique. Hey, my unique followers, welcome back to part two. Today, we're going to unmold. It's about 24 hours later, so let's go ahead. Jay, you going first or am I going first? You can go first. You want to go first? Just a quick reminder. This is what we cast in our molds yesterday. These cute little jars. So, after, um... When I launch the video, I will post and I'll, so you can decide whose color combo you liked best. We'll do a little vote because me and Jay did a, went in a little bit of different directions here. So we'll vote and you can pick your, your vote for your favorite. It'll be on, posted on my community on uh, my community board. So we're going to unmold him. So here we go. You just work the mold, because sometimes with a newer mold, they can be a little bit stiffer. Or if you have a very detailed mold, they can get stiff. Usually, I can roll my mold to where I can get a lip. And there we go. I got a lip now. You can pull them. And then I just pull the inside. All right, there's the bottom of my mold, my jar. And I can feel on the bottom right here. I'm gonna have to do my deburr. And I don't know where he is right now. Frank, you wanna say hi to YouTube? No. Okay. Do you want a hug? No. All right, well, here, let's do our lid. And there you go. I just roll him so I can get a lip. Because then I can grab him. And then he pops right back out. Alright. This is what we're looking at. Alright, Jay. Hold on. I can't see you in the camera. Alright. You saw I did that? Mm -hmm. Move the camera up a little bit. They can't see you. Hi. There you go. All right, there's Jay's bottom. It That's looks like, yep. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna need to use the deeper tool. And I don't know where the deeper tool went. Oh no. That's okay, I'll find him eventually. I moved him around myself. I'm almost guaranteed I put him somewhere I didn't want to put him. Here's my 
All right. We should unmold the heart. You want to unmold the little heart? Yeah. Just show you what I do with extra Can resin. I, you want to do it? Yeah. You want that? All right. And just so I remember, I always flip the molds back so we can see it. Just a reminder, this is our split cup, our tri-split cup. And there's what, see, you end up creating cool things with extra resin from a project, so you never waste. Oh, she's flipping it back out, right back side. All right, this is what... These are our jars, and they screw on. Now, I'm a little early, but this is what the jar looks like. This is mine, my color choice. I always unscrew them just so they stay a little longer. And this is mine. It's Galaxy. All right, let's screw them. Let's show them how it screws on. All right, this is Jay's. We went and we did similar colors, but we went in different directions with our colors. So that's what Jay's looks like. And that's the inside. As you see, we went in different directions. And it's always, you end up creating something new when you have excess resin. So, you guys, I will see you guys next time. I have a really fun video coming up next. So, Yay, be you, my sleepover. <laughs> be you, be unique, and I'll see you next time.